Hello and welcome to EcoWorthy channel. This video is to introduce the installation and operation method of the battery monitor. Step 1. Pass the positive input and output wires of battery through the hall sensor. Watch the direction. Step 2. Consit the battery monitor to the hall sensor with 16.4 feet cable. Step 3. Connect the hall sensor to the battery with 1.64 feet cable, red wire, positive, black wire, negative. Step 4. Connect the battery to the monitor with 16.4 feet cable. The installation succeeds when the monitor read data and indicator flashing alternately blue and green. It fails when the data remains unchanged and the indicator shows blue. Step 5. Set the parameters. Input the default password 2016 in Parame to unlock the setting page. Set the nominal capacity and full capacity voltage in the blue bar. Full capacity voltage, the highest voltage when the battery is fully charged when the charger plugged. Press the RPM to read the data and the WPM to write and save data. For example, when you are going to operate a battery of 12 volt 30 ampere hour, you have to set capacity value to 30 and full voltage to 14.6 as tested. Then make sure that the battery is fully charged to the full capacity voltage and the monitor will then work in a normal way. Tap different icons to switch display pages, including normal page, simple page, and chart page. In this page, drag the slider to set the automatic sleep time, 0 to 30 seconds, and brightness, 20 to 100% of the display. Just tap it to wake it when the display is turned off. When power on, press the button and hold for 3 seconds to enter standby mode, and press for 2 seconds to wake it up, during which there's only 0.5 mA current. Actually, standby mode saves power more than sleep mode. Moreover, in the two mode data will be recorded and saved. You can calibrate the voltage, current and temperature manually according to the actual detection. For example, when we measure the voltage as 13.8 volt, but the display read 10.5 volt, we are able to correct the value manually. Tap DBZE to clear all the values. Tap DBFU to read the real-time detection values. To test the alarm mechanism, we set the voltage to 14.2 volt. While the actual value is higher than that, then the voltage part flashes as expected. The relative parameter will flash itself, warning the wrong values to alarm you. The monitor will alarm you for these, power capacity overload slash over voltage, under voltage, abnormal current, overheating.